I'm Ian Thomas with Front Office Sports. I'm joined by Rudolf Fidal, President of North and South America for Bayern Munich. Uh, Rudy, it's been five years since you've opened the office here in New York. Uh, what have you sort of learned about this country and, and their love of soccer? Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. And um, yeah, we have, we have seen um, a lot of things and um, we learned a lot. And you know, when we came here, uh, the most important thing what we wanted to do is obviously growing the fan base, building the brand, looking for any kind of mutually beneficial partnerships and help grow the sport of soccer on and off the field. And uh, that was our target in the beginning and we kind of had to learn from scratch. We had to, we literally had to learn from that cluttered sport and entertainment market. We had to meet and get to know everybody who is a stakeholder in this market, people from, you know, from all the leagues, from franchises, media houses, uh, communities. And um, I can tell you, we've seen um, a huge growth in the market when it comes to that sport. And I can tell you, when I came here five years ago, five and a half years ago, and started by my own, now having an office uh, where quite a lot of people are working every day and seeing this interest, um, there are a couple things which went the right way. So it's overall a very, very positive development. Yeah, and they've had a lot of success building fan clubs here in the US and, and really focused on getting fan groups in different cities and, and, and folks that will support the club. What is your thought or how do you go about developing those clubs and, and bringing folks that might live here in New York and connecting them with, with obviously the club back yeah. in Germany? Um, that is a, a very good question. It's literally the main work is, is we are a, a club driven by certain values which means like um, you know we are very family driven we are very integrity driven so for us and even owned by 300,000 members and having 650 million followers worldwide this is as a massive brand the most important thing is bring the club as close as possible to people who cannot be in Munich and cannot attend the, the Allianz Arena. So what we try to do is in the first in the in the in the beginning of our time here is just to discover the fans and interact with those fans and you know make them come together and enjoy games and whenever they needed support we brought them together. And we started literally with a handful and now we recently hit, fortunately, the number of 150 official fan clubs in 44 states in the US and in Canada. And, you know, for a club which came here five years ago and was the first club, it's quite a remarkable story and um, an achievement. So the entire club is, is proud of that and is proud of all and each fan who is actually a part of this fan club. Yeah, like you said, so many, so many clubs, so many leagues have made inroads here in the U.S. or opened their own office or done partnerships with friends here in the U.S. I mean, how much? I know you compete on the field in, in Europe in the Champions League and the Bundesliga. How how is your relationship with other European clubs that are that are trying to do similar things here in the U.S.? So um, we have a great relationships. I mean, we have great relationships, but we also have great relationships in Europe. So the most important thing is we all have the same goal. So although we were here first, we were so happy to share all this in, in you know, knowledge and experiences because in the end, we all want them to invest in the market, come here and, um, and help to grow the sports on and off the field. So um, we talk quite frequently to each other in order to see what the situation was, um, is the market um, doing and yeah, we have great relationships. We're actually um, meeting constantly, I just met um, recently the guys again. So I'm, I'm happy to exchange our knowledge and exchange anything which is, um, what is uh, what's crucial for the market. Yeah, so you, know, you have the, the first team coming again here this summer. Uh, be playing part of the ICC International Champions Cup. How crucial it is is it for the for the strategy of a New York or American office to have the club actually come, the first team players, and you know be part of not only games but brand opportunities and marketing events and and meeting folks from the fan club and that sort of thing. I mean, this is I mean to be honest, everything what we do here, 365 days 
a year and it is a 365 days approach because the games are on weekends we have people working the entire weekend work hard to you know maintain those relationships and, de and talk and interact with our fans having the team here is you know the top of the iceberg it is like the top of the pyramid when you do the entire in internationalization mm -hmm. and we have a lot of initiatives we 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 need to we need to do um, and that's one of those things which is obviously the most important because everything what we do throughout the entire year is leading up to that and i can tell you the fact that we are coming the fourth time in five years that shows the commitment of Bayern Munich to our fans, mm -hmm. to those who cannot be in Munich, cannot go to Munich, cannot attend the Allianz Arena. So, and this is what we need to do: is we need to present ourselves in front of a huge crowd. And we are so happy to have the team here and coming with all the stars because there's no World Cup, yeah. there's no European Championship. And I know it was not um, possible, and not always possible in the past, but we're very, very excited. What are some of the, when the team is actually here, what are some of the marketing events that you think work really well to help deepen that, that bond with fans? So, first of all, what you have to know is we, we played in the past in seven different cities, and this time we're coming the first time to Los Angeles, to Houston, and to Kansas City. And we're traveling with around about 250 people, like 100 staff. So everybody, 100 staff means not the team itself. It's really about those people working constantly um, on a tour like that. And to give you an impression, we work on that tour for over six, seven months um, together with the guys in, in Munich. So what we do is we create around about 90 events in within those 10 days where we engage with everybody. And first of all, with our fans, and then with our partners, with media, with the communities we are going into, with organizations we can help, even all the people who are in the sports industry who try to transfer exchange knowledges. And of course we show respect to a lot of things that's going to happen, for example, we have of course our coaches, we're going to help uh, communities um, where we have clinics, camps with underprivileged kids. Mm -hmm. We also help um, doing soccer camps and clinics for everybody else. We have our coaches there, we bring our, our fans together with, with our team, with our, with our executives. And of course there's some events going on. We have, we obviously show respect for the 50 year anniversary of the moon landing in Houston. We play on the 20th of July and that's actually the anniversary day of that. So we're going to have a warm up in the Apollo 50 anniversary logo and we do a couple things for and with NASA. And we, for example, will open a, a temporary exhibition at the Holocaust Museum in LA. Obviously, knowing that Bayern Munich has a Jewish past with Kurt Landauer, we obviously want to do this and um, you know, contribute something um, where we know that soccer football is a language everybody speaks, a lot of people speak, and bring the right people together. And I could probably talk about those <laughs> initiatives and those events for the next two hours.